This is Gretchen Cook with a 5-Minute Farm Doc Daily discussing meat consumption trends over the next 30 years. China is a major consumer of soybeans and the top destination for U.S. soybean exports. Most of these soybeans are used to feed livestock, mainly swine, for meat production. Multiplied by 1.4 billion people, the impact of China's meat consumption is large, but consumption is still relatively low at the per capita level, especially compared with the United States. Increases in meat consumption are typically associated with increases in incomes, chiefly in developing economies. Over the past two decades, China's per capita gross national income has increased, as has per capita meat consumption. A Chinese person consumed 13% more meat in 2019 than in 1999, but again, multiplied to over 1.4 billion people, this increase has had a major impact on the amount of meat demanded, as well as needs for livestock feed inputs such as corn and soy. While we would expect Chinese meat consumption, and therefore feed demand, to follow an increasing trend, the past three years have represented anomalies in per capita consumption and commodity import demands. 2019 saw the lowest Chinese per capita meat consumption level in a decade, even though poultry and beef consumption reached new highs. Three major factors have shaped the last few years of consumption in meat and feed imports. The outbreak of African swine fever and the U.S.-China trade war in 2018, and the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. China culled almost 50% of its swine herd in 2018 in an attempt to stop the spread of ASF, and later that year started by imposing a 25% tariff on U.S. soybeans as a trade retaliation measure. We saw a large spike in meat imports over these years as China supplemented its severely reduced pork production capacity, as well as a shock to total soy imports. The pandemic also altered consumption patterns, disrupted supply chains, and further hampered the ability of the pork sector to recover. Moving forward from these three events, the government of China's five-year plan for 2021 through 2025 focuses on promoting domestic self-sustainability. In the meat sector, this looks like incentivizing the further expansion and consolidation of pork production to reduce incidents of disease and improve supply chain efficiency. The stated pork production goal is 55 million metric tons, upwards of 30% higher than current production levels. As China rebuilds its domestic pork herd, we would expect a shift in demand growth back towards feed inputs rather than meat imports, though meat imports will continue to play an important role as China continues to face resource constraints and increasing demand and population. The Phase 1 agreement of the U.S.-China trade dispute also set high goals for the purchasing of U.S. agricultural products, including corn, soybeans, beef, and pork. And in 2021, we've already seen large buys of corn by China to replenish stock shocked by the pandemic and the need to feed the recovering pork industry. China's swine herds will need to recover above and beyond pre-2018 levels to meet consumption demand over the next decades. It is expected that China will continue to be the most significant consumer in the global meat industry, demanding even more meat than current levels as their economy grows and that the need for corn and soy imports to produce this meat will also increase.